Hey, what is up my acidic fledglings? It is I, Citric Raptor, and today I'm going to be playing Wingspan. And I'm so happy that it was finally available on Steam. I have played a few games of Wingspan on Steam recently. Um, it's fun, it's nice, it's a really fun board game. If you want to consider it a board game, I mean, there's a lot of pieces to it, mainly a lot of cards. I'm not very good at explaining games, or explaining things in general, but I'll try to do my best to do a brief explanation now. So the wingspan, it's kind of like an engine type building game where you have to play your cards, play your birds to be able to play more, be able to get more stuff, be able to do things more efficiently. Because the birds have specific powers, specific abilities, and, and certain feather points, which, are, which is what you use to score the game at the, at the end of it. Um, some birds don't have any abilities, and they're just blank white birds. Like, 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 I'll show you what I mean if that if that pops up. But some birds don't have abilities, and they basically do nothing for you. But they can be worth a lot of points. So there's some trade-offs to pay attention to. So basically, the person or the player who has the most feathers, feather points at the end of the game, they win. So yeah, we're gonna play against the Autonoma, because if I were to do it online, I feel like it would take forever. So. Go to the Autonoma, change my settings. Uh, I should do one of these two colors since you know Citrix, like you know, lemon, lime, stuff like that. But I love like red. Red's my favorite color. We're going to go ahead and be the owl since that's the only raptor I see available. And we'll have this background because it looks nice. Change the gold mat to not the most, but but the first one, not the first one, but I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh. Click the toggle between random. Wait, what does that say? In random order and custom order. Or click to toggle between random order. Wait, no. I want to know what this means. Oh, random order and custom order. Okay. Um, let's do shuffle. It's not like it matters. Let's see the time of difficulty on. We'll keep it on normal. And yeah, we're gonna hop into it. So at the beginning of the game, you are given two bonus cards and five bird cards and you want to pick between the five bird cards you want to keep you could keep all of them if you really desire to but that means you can't get any food so what i mean is if i pick five of these birds if i pick all of them that means i can't gain any food because for every bird you discard you gain a food i hope that makes sense hope i explained that right and then with your bonus card you want to keep in mind and try to like pick the one at the beginning of the game that kind of shares the most common similarities with your current birds so with the bonus cards here let's see what they were birds with colors in their names so if i am able to play four to five of those birds i'll gain three points at the end of the game if i'm able to play six plus birds six points and then the same kind of goes for this bonus where if i play birds that are only in the grassland Two to three of those, I get three points. Four plus, I get eight. So let's go back on my gird, girds, my birds. <laughs> does gold not count as a color? Oh, gold does count as a color, but they give it to me if I had golden. But then again, the golden eagle is an expensive bird, which I don't know if I want to keep them. Honestly, though, I do have two birds that um gave me the color bonus. I'm not really, I don't really know how to pronounce it. Cerulean? 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 I don't know if that's how to pronounce that. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna call it, I'm just gonna call it Cyan. <laughs> Deal. Blue. Bluebird. <laughs> you know, that's not blue, but it's a shade of blue. Or a tone of blue. blue. And then Golden Eagle. Mm, let's see. Pretty expensive. And then with this one, I only have one bird available. But at the percentage down here, 34% of the cards that are in the game or just the standard wingspan have colors in their names. So I'm gonna go with this card to keep it. And now we're just gonna go based off of the abilities here. Now this one is a win played, so when I play it, that happens. Then after that, I don't get it. But these guys, these brown powers, they're repeatable if you do an action in that territory or that habitat. So if I were to play this Northern Bob White in the grassland, and I go to lay eggs, since laying eggs in the grassland is that function or that action, I will be able to do their ability. But today, with these birds, 
Um, I apologize for that long explanation, but hopefully that makes it easier for the viewership for you guys so you kind of understand what I'm doing. I'm going to go with the color birds, both of these guys, even though they are kind of expensive. I'll be able to hopefully pray that what I need will come up because I personally like these two. I especially like the warbler since a oh, warbler, warbler. I think yeah, warbler, warbler, warbler. Probably. I apologize if you guys are bird fanatics and I'm mispronouncing these names. I'll do my best next time. And I also do have the trivia facts on. So when I play a bird, there will be a fact about them that. Uh, the narrator will say and it'll be cool to learn about what learn about one interesting fact about them so yeah i'm gonna go with these guys and then obviously for the food so i could play a bird i'm gonna have the invertebrate the seed i'm not sure if they call it the seed in in wingspan but i'm gonna call it a seed oak grain i'll probably interchanging a lot of things and then obviously i'll have one rat to give me a bonus not a bonus but a head start on being able to play the golden eagle so yeah i apologize for a long intro so now it looks like it's my turn now. And I honestly, when it comes to the autonomous turn, I don't really know what it means because I never actually play the autonomous or try to do that, that set up in person since it was kind of confusing to me. But one of these days I'll learn. So my dad's busy because I normally play wingspan with my dad. If he's busy, then I'll play with the autonomous. Okay, uh, click to start. First off, I'm going to play my warbler and the forest and the forest action is food so whenever i gain food if this had an action like an action similar to this like look at a card from the deck if less than 100 centimeters the tuck it behind this card and tuck and tuck birds are worth points as well but since it's just a one played i'm gonna go ahead and play it discard that food cerulean warbler between 1966 and 2015 this species lost 74 percent of its population Oh dang, and Cerulean Warbler. Okay. And now I'm able to get another bonus card, which can be good. Because it kind of gives me flexibility on what I want to go for. I've noticed with the Wingspan, it's not really a good strategy to focus on one thing. It's always best to try to focus on multiple things at once. And not being stuck going with one way. Because sometimes I would play Wingspan. I played it games here and I would only see on, on, on the steam version I only would focus on my bonus card and which is bad because that there's also goals I can do for each round and they are count for points so if I had a, if I play birds in the wetland those will give me points at the end of the at the end of the round and so on and so forth um, at the end of this round at least because yeah I think I just I just confused myself with that explanation. I apologize. But with these guys, I'm honestly I don't know if I'll get lucky and be able to get these type of birds. So I'm gonna go with the ecologist, ecologist, ecologist with that ecologist. <laughs> and yeah, and we'll test my luck and what happens. And that should be my turn. See, so yeah, with the autonomo when it has this going up, I have no clue what's happening. So I think. Since that looks like the goal marker, they must have acted as if they played a bird in their in their wetland. So that's one point towards that. And since I don't see any of the feathers showing up, maybe that bird was worth zero feathers. I'm not too sure. And is that their bonus card? I can actually see what their bonus card is. Because typically in IRL, in IRL, it makes no sense. In real life, when you play the game, you don't really want to show your opponents your bonus because they could kind of screw you over in a way by grabbing the cards that you need. But yeah, now that I played the Cerulean Orbler, I'm going to. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. The rat's not there anymore. It was there at the start of the game, which is kind of eh. Even though I don't have any birds played in the grassland, I do want to get a head start and lay eggs just so I have those ready. Or maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll go ahead and lay the eggs. And later on, since this isn't the first column that I played the warbler here, 
I only had to do the food costs. But when you also play birds later down in further columns, like in this fifth column here, not only would I have to pay for the food costs, but I also have to discard two eggs off of any birds to pay for it. So yeah, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue with my lay eggs action. See what the Autonomo is doing. Activate all pink powers. Click. And what pink powers are, those are in between turns. So if I had a bird, I'll hopefully, hopefully there's a bird in the tray, quote unquote, that um, has a pink power and then I'll be able to explain that function a little bit better. So here there's not, but here is, here is one of the birds that I was saying earlier where there could be no powers, just nothing, it's just blank. I know the European expansion, they did, they do have a goal tile, like end of round goal tile that can utilize those birds when they're played and they can give you points. But in the standard version, that tile does not exist. So playing blank powered birds or white, or yeah, blank powered birds, they are typically, what I've noticed, they give you a lot of feather points. So this guy is seven right here. So that is nice. Um, the hummingbirds are also nice, especially this one, since it is worth four points. Honestly, I feel like, I wonder if all hummingbirds are actually worth four feather points. But I am going to head to grab a bird. It is going to be the hummingbird. Because although it does help the autonoma, but I don't think the autonoma actually gets food. But if you were to play the hummingbird initially, Oh, I just also realized too that I'm all that I'm doing the colored birds, so obviously it would be nice to have the ruby throw it hummingbird since ruby is a color that I believe counts. Yep, that counts towards my bonus. So I'll go ahead and grab that. But as I was explaining, sometimes you just have to play. You just have to play birds that will also help your opponents, because in the long run, in the long run, it could potentially help you more. And here is what I was trying to explain earlier with the pink powered birds. Once between turns is basically when another player, so let's say I had this bird and let's say John, I was playing with John and Jim and it was their turns and on John's turn, he plays a bird in the forest. That means I will be able to get an invertebrate from supply since I would have that bird played on my mat. And then if, if I don't really know what name I said first, but I'm, I assume I said John first, but if not, then you, you kind of get the scenario and if Jim played it, played a bird in the forest, then I would also be able to get an invertebrate. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and play, oh, I really don't want to get rid of my rat, but I need to be able to play my birds and I really would like to be able to get a lot of birds going, so I'm going to play my ruby throated hummingbird in the wetlands. Ruby so I want to throated it. hummingbird. Hummingbirds feed on nectar, but they also eat many small insects. Interesting. But yeah, I need to also need to try to be careful to not speak over the uh, the narrator when they do the tree effects. But anyways, yeah, I want to play the ruby throated bird. Not only, I just now realized that I played in the wetland, which gives me a point for the end of round, but I want to be able to start up my, kind of my train, my engine there, to be able to get more birds later on when I go to draw birds. But now I have zero food, zero cards. Well, not zero cards, because I do have the golden eagle. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and get another card and allow the Autonoma to get food first because I do not want the grain. I'm going to be banking on a rat to spawn there or to be rolled there. Um, I am go I am going to get this bird since he is cheap. Although they don't go towards my bonus. Honestly, what is my other bonus? Okay, yeah, they don't go towards my photographer bonus, but the ecologist bonus will be able to I'd be able to use it. And I could discard an egg to get another card, but I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and go with that. Um, 
Yeah. There is a rat. Lucky me. We'll go ahead and get that off. Ooh, now that I think about it, I should have. Oh, well, I can. I can. I can go ahead and um, get food. I didn't think about trying to get food for my eastern guy. I can't remember the bird's name. Eastern Kingbird. I didn't think about getting a food for him. So here we will go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and get the fruit. Because why not? It really wouldn't have mattered. I had a lot of options available to me. But why not? Just feeling, feeling juicy to get that fruit. Okay, and now we'll be able to play the Kingbird. Is, was he able to be played in the wetland? Oh, he is able to be played in the wetland. And I do have an egg available for him. Oh, wait, no, 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 not, not there. Not, as much as I should be building up my uh, grassland, I'm just, I'm just preferring to build up my wetland right now. Because there's a strategy, it's called egg spamming. It really it can be annoying. When you have like five birds up here and you just be able to lay four amount of four plus eggs four to five eggs depending on if you have food to discard because eggs are also worth uh, worth feather points one egg equals one point so it's equal exchange so if you have let's say you manage to lay 25 eggs that's 25 points for you and egg spamming is more um it's it's easier to do that in the um when it's like less people since more eggs will be available to you. I'm not sure if there's a rule in Wingspan where if you if there aren't any eggs left, if you can use like something to to um to um I can't think of the word substitute it. I'm not sure if that's an actual Eastern rule. Kingbird. The kingbird displays its orange crown while defending its territory. But if it is an actual rule, then uh, I guess wing egg spamming doesn't matter. Wait, what? Oh, they must now. That I, now, now that I think about it, they must have a bird that allows them to go into multiple habitats. That's my speculation, since they no longer have a point for the end of the goal or end of round. But now these are these are some good birds down here, so I would like to. I'm gonna go grab birds. They're cheap, easy. Why not? And it's not like I could play my golden, golden eagle. So go ahead and grab birds. I could grab two of them, which is dope. We'll go ahead and go with these two guys. Because with him. Play another bird. Oh, that means I need to get my. Ooh, I need. I, I would need a lot of eggs for that. But it should only. It should only be two eggs where I need to spend, and I have one egg currently. So, yeah, I'll go with those two guys. And what are their costs? Oh, they're 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 easy birds. So either invertebrates or. So yeah, three, two to three food availabilities. I'll go ahead and grab my food first. Do this just so they, the autonomy doesn't have an option. <laughs> when it comes to those with those dice, I like to grab those first so my opponents they don't have the option to pick. I can I'm very competitive and I can sometimes be a jerk when I play this. <laughs> so if you ever play this with me on Steam, I apologize if I do some jerkish type moves but i'm very competitive i like to win but i think in my later years later years what the heck i'm not even that old <laughs> i'm only 20 years old guys but as growing up i realized that winning isn't everything i've oh, especially when it comes to sports i like to value good sportsmanship over winning because if you could if you could pull off both if you're a team and you're a player that that expresses good sportsmanship and you win that that's a that's a double whammy but in my book, if you just played your hardest, even if you lost, but you played your hardest and you had and you expressed ex excellent sportsmanship, then you have won. 
In most of the cases, when you lose, that's when you learn more. Because you know, because you just, um, that's where you can see where you're actually slacking. Instead of you winning a lot, you're not really seeing your weak points. I'm really, I'm hoping I'm making sense right now. You're not really seeing your weak points, but when you lose, you can see where you make a lot of mistakes, and you can fix upon them, and you just get better. But I know, I know that there's some people out there, even if they win, they know that they can do better, because they just have that hunger, that thirst for victory, and just to get better and excel at what they're doing. But yeah, anyways, don't know how I changed, I don't know how I made a little, little short conversation about sports while we're in here <laughs> playing a game about birds but yeah um don't worry I'll, I'll be able to get that total bird thing under lockdown since i will be able to do that oh that guy's expensive but if i were to get him i would want him to play my grassland since he's a repeat brown power and he's the first one so i think with those birds you want to be able to play them first. I'll go ahead and lay eggs. Um, do I have any of those? I don't actually. All mine are bucket types. That's a cavity type. So I guess I'll just give them all an egg. Because why not? About to do a big play next turn. Playing two turn. Playing two turns. Playing two birds in one turn. That's one thing I've noticed too. Um, when you're playing Wingspan, you want to be able to find those birds that allows you to kind of do two actions in one turn. Because if I didn't have this bird right here, where this woodpecker were it would allow me to play two birds or another bird on the same turn, then I would have to do to play two birds or play a bird on one turn, then play another bird on another turn. So it's always good to be efficient and looking out for those birds that can that can allow you to do two in one type things but i know sometimes the with those birds those aren't always like the best option for you because it may not go for your bonus or the end of round or what but who knows you just gotta really gotta rely on the heart of the card sometimes and pray that you get lucky what i don't know oh i hit change my bad I don't know what I was doing. Go ahead and get his egg out of here. Downy woodpecker. This little woodpecker frequently joins mixed flocks. Ooh, mixed flocks. Oh, I thought I had water. Guess not. I'll have to hydrate later. And then we'll play the Carolina chickadee. I said chickpea, I think, earlier, so I apologize. And, and we'll be able to hear another fact. So the downy woodpecker likes to be in mixed flocks. He just joins other birds, I guess. Or they join other birds. And now let's see what the Carolina Chickadee has to offer for us in terms of factual information. Carolina Chickadee. Chickadees hide seeds and can remember thousands of hiding places. Dude, sometimes I wish humans were kind of programmed like birds. Because like when birds are born or whatnot, they just like know. Like... Oh, we have to migrate south or wherever their migration pattern is. They just know they have to go that way. Like, oh, we have to migrate here. Oh, we just know our hidden locations of our seeds. Like, what? I mean, I guess humans have that memorization, but but I feel like with birds, that's like kind of like like programmed in their brains. With humans, we have to like learn that. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm not making any sense, but <laughs> oh, whatever. Um. So far, I'm getting really unlucky with rats not being in the bird feeder. Now then again, uh, I only I only need two. Um, we are gonna go ahead and get birds, and uh, yeah, we'll get birds. We'll get birds. We'll only get two. I don't really the gray cat bird. It would go for my would be good if I can get him and have a good um good car to go with it but I think oh I just not noticed the American coot tuck a bird from your hand beyond this bird if you do draw one 
I also do like those birds, and I have been getting a lot of birds recently. But... Ooh, I do need to build up my grassland, so... I'm gonna go with the hawk. And we'll go over with the random bird. Ooh, sick, easy, love it. And then, what is in the bird feeder? It is a fish, I do not want the fish, so we'll let the autonomous grab the fish, and I will... I will uh, grab what, what is available to me. I have to re-roll it. Oh, there's no rats available, but I will be able to play this sparrow. So we will... We'll go with all the options, because you know I like to deny people of options, and then I'll grab food my next turn. If, if the food that is currently there is available. And they currently have 32 feather points, and this is towards the end of the second round. So I don't know how many points I actually have. But let's see, I can do a quick math. Six, seven. 11, 14, 16, plus 2 I think was for that, so that's 18, and whatever my bonuses are. So right now I'm losing, <laughs> bad. I have actually haven't won against the Autonoma yet, but it's okay. So I, so I have the food available for the the sparrow. Now I'm gonna get the food available for my hawk, so I can get thin plate. And ooh. you know what? I'm gonna take a uh, since seeds and invertebrate are, I believe, the most common food. I'm going to take a risk here and just play my sparrow now, so that I can lay eggs my next turn. Cause I need to get egg laying. Nope, I don't, I don't want that. I want to play my sparrow. And we'll get rid of my seed. Grasshopper sparrow. The grasshopper-like song of these sparrows is often overlooked. So for, wait, what? How they, how do they just lose a bird that was played? I don't know. Maybe I don't know the rules as well as I thought I did. <laughs> Ooh, I still could have grabbed the food there. It's still available to me. So yeah, I'll grab food now. And then I'll do eggs my last turn. Yeah. Clip both of these. We have a seed, a vertebrae, and a rat. And then yes, cash me. Cash me a seed. And also caching, those give you points at the end of the game as well. So they just played another bird. I don't know what's happening. I don't understand the autonomous functions, but whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, I guess I could play... I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to play the bird instead of laying the eggs. I'm going to play the bird and do laying eggs as my first action next turn. So I feel like it just makes more sense. Do I even have any eggs available to me? Oh, thank goodness I have one. But yeah, and I also just now realized playing a bird would also should be the better option, I think, since it will give me potentially another point. But then again, not really, because we're not doing the most. Or are we doing the most? Who has the most? No, never mind. Swainson's hawk. These hawks feed chicks small mammals and birds, but adults eat mostly insects. So we're tied, which means we're both going to get five points, I believe. So yeah, I forgot that I was doing one where it's like kind of cap out at max of five feather points. I didn't realize, I, yeah, that's the one that I wanted anyways. <laughs> okay, um, I don't really know if I'm winning right now, but if I lose the Autonoma, it, it is what it is, and I just gotta deal with it. Like I said, I'm going to lay eggs now. Do I have these birds yet? Do I have any cavity type birds? Bucket, two buckets, ground type, platform. Oh, I have two. So we are going to go ahead and lay eggs. And we'll lay two on here. Boom, boom. 
And since my since the fourth round's goal is eggs and bucket type, we'll go ahead and put one on the warbler here. So sick. And let's see if this is less than 70, 75 centimeters. It is not. It's freaking pelican. Of course. Now lay one on any bird. We'll just go ahead and lay it on another bucket type. Is there any, are there any? Ooh, the common raven's a good bird, but they kind of popped up late. I'll show you what I mean by it's a good bird. Because it's uh, discard one egg from any of your other birds to gain two food from supply. So that, that there's a nice power to have. I mean, it's not too late, but... I kind of really want to... Actually... I might be able to go that route. You know what? I'm gonna get the common raven. Oh, sick. Again, another vertebrate because the autonomous played a bird in their forest. I just, I forgot that I have the hummingbird here and I'll be able to get that rat that's sitting. Never mind. It was sitting in the bird feeder. <laughs> but I can do a two for one exchange for the common raven. What I mean by two for one exchange, you can trade two. Two of the same type of food for one other. So if I have two, let's say fruit, and I want to exchange those two fruit to pay for a fish, then boom, two fruit, one fish, or two fruit, whatever. You, you get the gist of it, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, we'll still get the common raven. I think I'll be able to be able to, be able to play it. I've only played two, two birds. Oh shoot. I didn't realize I only played two birds with the um with colors in them. Juniper's not a color, right? No. <laughs> so we will we'll stick with the common raven. And we'll see. Nope. But we'll see what I can do with this Ren. Don't really want it. But it's okay. And sure, I will. I would like to grab first, even though it kind of doesn't really matter because I don't want any of these foods. But I will. I'll get the. I'll go with the seed. Oh shoot! Gotta hit the arrow. I'll click the seed. The oat, the grain, the the wheat, if you will. Okay, 47. I'm currently losing for this round, but uh, whatever. And now I'll go get the food from the bird tray. So I really don't want those red because they're kind of expensive. But I mean, it's not expensive in the sense like it's three different types of food. They're, it's the most common food. I really kind of don't want it, even though if I use the red to... If I'm able to correctly use the ability of it... I'll be able to um, do some pretty cool things because like it says if this bird is to the right of all of the birds in its habitat, move it to another habitat. So if I had the wren here in the forest, that would give me the option to be able to get three foods. So basically with those type of birds, it kind of helps you like kind of max out your habitats, like certain habitats at a certain time of the game, if that makes sense. So, I mean, it is cool to have, but I also really want to get these two other birds played. So I want to take priority of just getting all the food in the tray. So I'll go ahead and do that. Drop the wren. Let's hope I don't accidentally discard the wrong card. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Confirm. And I'm just going to grab all the food. And cash. I don't have a rat, but I'm able to do that two for f two for one exchange that I have since I have um, or two for one exchange that I was talking about since I have three wheat. So I'll go ahead and play the common raven. Uh, yep, that is that's what I want to do. And I do have plenty of eggs available to me. Not really plenty, only four, but. 
Don't worry, this Golden Eagle is being played. I'm gonna play him here in the in the um uh, wetland since that only required me to use one egg instead of playing him here in the grassland where not grass yeah grassland where it required two eggs instead of one. So yeah, we'll do that. The fact's coming up, so I'm gonna shut up now so you guys can listen. Common Raven. Ravens are omnivores whose diet includes insects, rodents, eggs, birds, and carrion. Interesting. Kind of a vast diet. So now we'll go ahead and lay eggs. And I'll be able to do this ability. I'll be able to get two rats. And I'll only need one more. So yeah, lay eggs. Uh, I've already done their done their duties. So we'll just go ahead and lay two here. Lay one there. Ooh. I'm gonna discard one from here. Get double rats. Please be less than 75. Ooh, this is a productive turn. I got lucky. That's one point for me and we'll lay it back on him. <laughs> Sick. I don't necessarily need to go to my forest anymore to get food since I have the common raven, which actually saves me turns because the common raven and birds that have this similar power are kind of like that two in one that I was talking about. You're also laying eggs or wherever you play him. I feel like it's best to play the common raven in the egg section or the grassland since you're discarding an egg. And if you lay an egg, you, it kind of like nullifies your discarding of one egg. I really, hope, I really hope I explained that to the best of my ability. But yeah, so with Common Raven and birds similar to him, I just feel like it'd be best to play them in the grassland if you can. Since you're already laying eggs and then you're discarding one. And then it's also two for one since you're getting eggs and food at the same time. So I honestly don't need to go here anymore. Although it would be nice to go here to cash him, but that's only one point as if I'm laying eggs that that's more than one So I'm because at this point I'm, I'm able to lay three eggs. So that's three points instead of just getting one So obviously I feel like it's a no-brainer to come here and lay more eggs So we'll go ahead and do that Boom 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 Discard from this birdie Get another rat and we'll just get another invertebrate because why not please be less than 75 centimeters it is dang i didn't realize the green heron it's only 66 centimeters for wingspan i wonder how they're also doing the uh, the wingspans here i wonder if they're like going off of averages and i wonder if they're going off of like the average of the entire species so male and female or if they're going off the average of like a male, a uh, male or a female. But I feel like they would probably be doing the entire species. Going off of that average. Then we'll lay it back on him. Alright. I guess I could technically play the Golden Falcon in the in the um in the grassland since I'm laying so much eggs. So I guess I will do that. Cause why not? Oh, that was actually zero turns. Oh shoot! I get another invertebrate. Okay, we're. I think we're. No, we're not tied in terms of points. I should have one more point than him, right? Two, seven, nine. No, we actually are tied. Oh yeah, never, never mind. I see the difference. <laughs> So I'm already good for this bonus because I have five eggs laid, but I also want to get this guy, this bonus here. So I need to see if there's, okay. Go ahead and grab birds so I don't miss out on this opportunity. Get the red winged blackbird. And then we will also, I don't know if I will play another bird of this game or if I'll just expand the autonomy but I know I want to get him played for sure and we'll just see we'll just see what other bird pops up ash throated that's also another color 
So yeah, I have I have some availabilities to me that don't really make any sense. But I have birds that I could play to be able to get this power or this bonus done. Already meet the requirements for the bonus. I don't even know what the heck I'm saying. <laughs> Dang. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll get a fruit if there's not a fruit available. Never mind. And then I'll go first and grab a grain, an oat. That is my end of that turn. Maybe I should have played the Golden Eagle first. Maybe? I don't know. Well, now I'm just going to focus on getting these birds played. So... Um, most likely I will not do that. Hmm. I'm trying to see. We'll play, we'll play the Golden Eagle first. Golden Eagle. Golden Eagles mostly eat rabbit-sized prey, but can go after livestock and birds. Ooh, interesting. Livestock, so is that like sheep and stuff like that? Farm animals? Or just like animals in general? Okay, so the gold, the golden did count. I was really hoping it would. And now we'll do... This guy here in the wetland. About to take it from him. Red winged Eleven. blackbird. Blackbird flocks can include hundreds of thousands of birds. Hundreds of thousands of birds? Oh my goodness. Like any type of bird or like just of that species? <laughs> I have two turns left. I don't think I want to play this guy. So, we're just going to expand the autonomy. Hmm. I don't like doing this, but since it is just a computer, I don't have to feel bad. Please be less than 100. Are you kidding me? Three centimeters away. There had to be another raptor. We're not going to do that since I'm not planning to play this guy. I mean, no. It wouldn't. It wouldn't get me up to six plus birds. So, so I don't think. I don't think I should play him. So nope. Um, nope. We'll skip his ability. Wow. Just pulling out the raptors now. Yeah. All right. My fellow birdies. And we'll just lay it on on this guy. Get him full. I have no clue where I stand against the Autonoma. I'm scared. I feel like I'm going to lose this, guys. I don't want to lose. Last turn. Do any more eggs? Um, don't really. Yeah, what is. Boom. Boom. Please don't give me another Don't give me another big bird man. Oh thank you. No need. Please less than 75. Oh thank goodness. Sweet. And then let's put on him. Alright, so this is the last turn of the game, guys. Let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Alright, so we obviously both got five there. But he was able to have one more. Which, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter since it's just eggs. Let's see how the score goes. Oh, geez. Okay, so far it's close. Oh, are you kidding me? The ton of 20 more feathers.
Oh, that was so close. That was so close. I guess the Autonomous doesn't have... They don't get a bonus card. No, they, they had a bonus card. Never mind. Like, oh, man. That was a close. That was a close game. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is going to definitely be a much longer video. So I hope you guys, if you made it this far in the video, all the way through the ending, I appreciate it. I absolutely love you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I was able to kind of briefly explain what this game was about if you are kind of new to watching this. But if you already are a former player, a veteran of Wingspan, and you want to go ahead and clarify some of the things that I said, make it easier for new people, feel free to do so in the comments down below. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to go ahead and soar off into the skies now. Catch you guys later.